Liberty Nation with Tim Donner. Say what? Say what? Say what? One more time. We kick things off with our signature segment, Say What, where we roll out a virtual assembly line of wacky, astonishing, damnable, and ultimately revealing things uttered by politicians and the chattering class. Of all the issues debated during the second and final head-to-head clash of the presidential campaign, the one that stirred the greatest anticipation was the growing scandal over the Hunter Biden laptop recovered from a computer shop in Delaware and the direct accusation by a business partner of the Biden family that Joe Biden got a cut of every deal with foreign interests in return for exerting his influence as vice president. I have not taken a penny from any foreign source ever in my life. I have not taken a single penny from any country whatsoever, ever. There are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plant. You mean the laptop is now another Russia, Russia, Russia hoax? And you that's got exactly it. what, is this that's where exactly going? what This is going. where he's going. The that, laptop all right. is Russia, yes. Russia, Gentlemen, Russia? I want to stay on the issue of race. You okay? have to be kidding. Here Mr. we go President. again with Russia. It will be up to the voters to decide whether this scandal very late in the campaign matters or not. More on that in a moment. But the closest thing to new ground broken in the debate was Trump's question and Biden's open proclamation on the issue of fossil fuels versus renewable energy. No would he close down falls, the oil industry? Falls, w- would you close down the falls. oil industry? By the way, I would transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I would that's transition. A big it is a big statement. That's a because big statement. I would stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Oh. It has to be replaced by renewable energy over time. And that's maybe the biggest question. statement in terms of business. That's the biggest statement. Okay. Because basically what he's question, saying is he is Mr. going President. to destroy the oil industry. Okay. Will you remember that, Texas? Will you okay. remember that, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma? Vice President Biden, let me give you 10 seconds to respond. And then I have- Trump making sure voters in crucial swing states are clear that Biden and the Democrats intend to gut the fossil fuel industry so crucial to their state's economies. But the difference in outlook between the two candidates was arguably the most stark about the pandemic. It will go away, and as I say, we're rounding the turn, we're rounding the corner. It's going away. This is the same fellow who told you this is going to end by Easter last time. This is the same fellow who told you that, don't worry, we're going to end this by the summer. We're about to go into a dark winter, a dark winter. He says that we're, uh, you know, we're learning to live with it. People are learning to die with it. A dark winter and a dystopian vision of the future not something ordinarily peddled by a candidate for president. So as the debate fades into the rearview mirror, how long can the elite mainstream media protect Joe Biden from the burgeoning scandal surrounding his family, especially after this bombshell statement right before the debate by one Tony Bubalinski, business partner of the Biden family, which put the lie to Biden's repeated claims that he had nothing to do with his son's overseas businesses and didn't make a dime off them. I'm making this statement to set the record straight about the involvement of the Biden family, Vice President Biden, his brother Jim Biden, and his son Hunter Biden in dealings with the Chinese. I have heard Joe Biden say that he's never discussed business with Hunter. That is false. I have firsthand knowledge about this because I directly dealt with the Biden family, including Joe Biden. I was introduced to Joe Biden by Jim Biden and Hunter Biden. At my approximately hour-long meeting with Joe that night, we discussed the Biden's history, the Biden's family business plans with the Chinese, with which he was plainly familiar, at least at a high level. On May 13, 2017, I received an email concerning allocation of equity which says 10% held by H for the big guy. We shall see whether the elite media blackout on this story will persist. 
But as bad as the Biden scandal may or may not turn out to be, the brazen censorship by social media of the New York Post story uncovering the scandal was truly breathtaking. And Texas Senator Ted Cruz said it's a five alarm fire. Hunter Biden is not the story here. It's Joe Biden that, it, that, that, that has potential corruptions with Ukraine. And, and he's repeatedly denied that he's ever met with Ukrainian oligarchs, and yet these emails suggest that he has. And then the next day, uh, the New York Post broke a second story about what appears to be the potential for direct corruption between Joe Biden and communist China, and in particular, an offer from co communist China to pay Joe Biden personally millions of dollars. These, these emails refer to Joe Biden as, quote, the big guy. Big tech, Twitter and Facebook, decided they didn't want the American people to hear this. And, and so if, if, if any American across the country tried to tweet these stories out, tried to post these stories, big tech blocked the stories. And in fact, they went so far as to block the New York Post, a major media company, from, from posting their own stories. Cruz and his colleagues are promising to hold hearings and compel testimony from the heads of Facebook and Twitter, promising that the liability protections afforded these big tech companies may soon be in serious danger. We'll talk more about that later on with Scott Cosenza. Earlier in the week, the big gun expected to be pulled out by the Biden campaign entered the fray down the home stretch. Barack Obama, twice elected president and very active on the campaign trail for Hillary Clinton in 2016, and coming out of hiding this time with a virtual appeal to young voters. In times as polarized as these, your vote doesn't just matter. It matters more than ever before. Joe Biden needs your vote. I know Joe better than almost anybody. I trust him to be a great president. He's different. He's on the right side of the issues. He'll get the job done. And Joe and Kamala will want you to keep pushing them to get the job done. Now, you would think that Obama's support would make a difference. But over his eight years as president, he saved himself. But his party did not at all share in his success, losing over a thousand legislative seats across the country and his intense campaigning for Hillary Clinton obviously did not help. Obama's first speech came midweek in Philadelphia, where Democrats hope to run up the score and win Pennsylvania. One of the most intriguing questions of this election is whether President Trump can pick up more votes from Hispanics and blacks. He's made a big-time appeal to the black community, did it again in the second debate, emphasizing record low black unemployment, opportunity zones, his new platinum plan, criminal justice reform, and support for historically black colleges. And he's gotten some help from famous black entertainers, Kanye West, 50 Cent, and the rapper Ice Cube, who was asked by an incredulous Chris Cuomo on CNN how he could possibly work with his president in any way when he rapped about removing Trump just a couple of years ago. Arrest the president. You got the evidence. That is Russian intelligence. Now we see a shift. Now he wants to work with President Trump. I came up with the contract with Black America. Both campaigns contacted me. One campaign said, we love what you have but let's really dig into it after the election. And one campaign said, we love what you have. Uh, what, do you mind talking to us about it? And that's what I did. I'm willing to work with both teams, but I'm just working with whoever is willing to work with me. Trump got 8% of the black vote in 2016 and is expecting to hit double digits this time around. If he does, it could spell the difference in this election. Extra, extra, read all about it. Election 2020 Big Bottom Flash Reports are coming. On election night, at the bottom of every hour, LibertyNation.com will give you election night 2020, 90 seconds at a time, with our Big Bottom Flash Reports. You'll get the drop with our one-stop shop. 
tune into LibertyNation.com on election night for our big bottom flash reports at the bottom of every hour. LibertyNation.com.